everybody. I want to talk about something today. I just washed my hair. Um, I want to talk about this subject that is really topic that um, I'm going to talk about other things like I'm, I just finished off my research study, but I want to talk about something different. I'm a revolutionist. I will talk about research study, um, research study with the, um, the hair with the revolutionist thing. Now, revolutionists, I'm a revolutionist. My father, my mother's revolutionist hand slipped. I would like to say one thing and short and make it brief. That blonde hair was not permanent. It was temporary for a revolutionary study. Uh, what beauty standards stand for? Think it. Well, that's what race society think. They're backwards in Queens, New York. They're backwards in racist neighborhoods where they think blonde hair and blue eyes will get them somewhere. They think this is nothing. They think these eyes is nothing. That's the way they think of society of women. They control women. They tell them what to do. They don't do it. They kill them. They rape them. Whatever. They even pay sleaze people to do something to them. Any bad thing. But revolutionary women, we get the most hate. We get the most heartache. Um, I like who I am. I will get a weave on my terms, but it's gonna be black. No other color because black. Black or brown or red or any other color but blonde, like I said before. But being revolution is a lot. Um, rights, no, you never think you have, you have to know your rights. You have to know um, police. Will, you have to know a lot of rights, like Black Lives Matter, Latino Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. It, it was a lot of things I was going through. And I think of something right now because um, my father was Black Panther and my mother was Black Black Latina Panther. They both were. This is my ancestor. The movie Judas is a very good movie to watch. And I will tell you this, I have six ancestry of, of revolutionary ways. And being a revolutionary woman is different. I prefer uh, the sleaze ball. I prefer a revolutionary man because non-revolutionary men are very rude. They're very insensitive. They control their women. They beat them. They kill them. You don't have that with my with my men. So they hate me from jump. You know, they chant, you know, they chant things like, oh, this girl don't have blonde hair because she's not good enough. The bronze people is not good enough. That's exactly what Queen's people say. I'm thinking of something. That's exactly what Queen's people said that the bronze people are not good enough. Hands up. That's exactly what bronze people said about you, um, about you people. Oh, you people, you're dirt. That's what Queen's people said about y'all. They said, Brooklyn, we're misunderstood. We're misguided. Hands slip. We see right through you. Queens, you're phony and you're fake and you're looking for money. You hate me because I'm revolutionist. You hate me because Gregory hated me because I'm revolutionist. Because my mother sued his father, Jackie Gleason, hand slip. My mother, Sonia Clinton, real, real name was Miriam Lewis. And the other name before that was Miriam Lopez. My real name was Shamika. My real name was not Shamika. It was Sonia Donna Perone. They changed to Shamika Sonia Clinton, hand slip. You check my background check. My mother's real name, the first one was Miriam Lopez. Think of something. Shut up. Miriam Lopez and Miriam Lopez and Sonia Clinton. And we had to change our name. Live in a black Latino, black Latino, black Caribbean neighborhood. That's why nobody could find me because I had my name changed, my social security number changed. When you're revolution, you gotta change everything. There's a lot of racist things going on, police brutality, all these things have been going on. I've been doing this revolutionary thing for a while, so I'll be discussing about my research study of beauty standards. Should be right now. After, see you later. Bye.